To create these, what you're doing is you're going in to the print module and we're going to create a single image contact sheet. Okay? You want to make sure that you go all the way down to the bottom and change this print to to a JPEG file. We aren't sending it to a printer, we're creating a new file. Okay? What we're going to create is a 5x7. Okay? We want to go in and we need to edit our identity plate, okay? The identity plate is that background image that I had in there, that order catalog wallpaper thing. I'll give that to you guys in the course stuff. I don't know if, we, I don't know if it's in there or not. So if you did already get the course and you downloaded the bonus stuff, there's gonna be more because I'll make sure that you guys get this. It's just an easy grid that I set up and it works and I'll give you this preset too. So we're gonna go in, click edit template. Now this one wouldn't make any sense for you to have, but we're gonna go in and click edit and we want to change this to a graphical identity plate. Okay, and we need to locate the file. Now for this, I've already made, oh, I didn't make it. Let's make one. So what I need to do is create, oh, here it is. It did make it, I just didn't save it. What we need to do is just create a five by seven background image. That's going to be what we use as our graphical identity plate. So I'm just gonna save this in documents, speaking stuff, digital workflow, background images, save. Cool. Close that. Now we're gonna go back to Lightroom and we are going to find our identity plate Locate file, right there, choose. It's gonna give you this warning dialog, just say use anyway, that's fine, yes, okay. I go in and I change my background to black to match it. And we wanna make sure that we're at 100% opacity and 100% to scale, okay? Now, we wanna go up to the top here and we are changing from the six grid System to one. So we want to change this to one to one. We want our grid size to be four, oh, six by four. Because that's the size images we want to put in there. And we need to change this to, that's what this is freaking out at, 0.25. So the height is six and this is four. Now we're going to go up and we are going to add a stroke to the border just to make it look nice white and we are going to rotate to fit and the other thing that I like to make sure is on is my photo info okay select all oops hit the wrong button select all print a file done